Hello and welcome back. <laughs> God, this intro is gonna be so weird. I feel like I'm giving a presentation right now, but um, it's 8.50. I cannot go outside to do my regular outside intro, so I'm just gonna do an intro outside of my room with hopefully not too bad of lighting. But um, anyways, a lot of you have been suggesting that I do a hyperpop tutorial, and I've never tried it before, and I actually already recorded the tutorial and all that stuff, so without further ado, let's get into it. All right, y'all, so first hyperpop tutorial. How are we gonna start this off? You know, first I'm gonna set my tempo to 127 BPM and then, then I'm in Electra X here and I'm gonna find a pluck that I like. So once you get like a pretty ambient pluck, kind of like a digital sound in pluck, you know, Electra X is always good for those kind of sounds. You wanna get your chords down first. First, before I start doing that, I wanna get my root notes down. So I wanna get like a pattern with them. So I like this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the other chords down or the other two to three notes to make our chords. Ooh, I like that. Let's try and copy and paste this and we're gonna control L. All right, so this is the move. I'm gonna clone Electro X on that pluck preset and I'm gonna change the preset uh, cause I just want a different sound, but I wanna get like a cool, like kind of melody, just like plucks in the background. I like the space art, but I don't like it on the chords that it has now. If I'm going to use the space art, then I want it to be like, um, kind of like a unique melody by itself and not just following the other chord progression. <laughs> Shift that up. Electra X has a stock um, bank that has like gated pads. Transgate, I think this is it. But this is really good for hyper pop, especially if you, Electra, if you have Electra X and like you don't have any um, banks and all that. <laughs> Thank you. 
is a good place to get a base. Um, my kit? Oh, yes, I think so. Right here. Let's get this base right here. I'm gonna get this Houdini clap for my kit. I uh, it's not my own clap. I, you've heard that clap a thousand times, but I just named it Houdini. Being honest here. If there's one thing that I don't really know, it's how to make hyper pop drums. I might have to go watch a tutorial real quick while I'm recording a tutorial on how to do hyper pop drums. <laughs> Now to the hi hats. We don't want to keep the hi hats on the two pet. Can I speak, please? I don't want to keep the hi hats on the two step pattern. I want to start to add like these rolls and like just kind of get that energy kind of going with them. things that I'm going to add are going to be an uh, open hat and the snare. I'm just going to get the really simple pattern down. This is, okay, this is my first hyper pop beat, and I actually, I really like this beat a lot. You probably don't know this, but I posted a um, thing on my Instagram saying basically, uh, like, tutorial ideas, because I, I, I couldn't think of, like, a tutorial that I should do. Somebody mentioned hyper pop. I decided to try and make hyper pop. Came out as a good result, and I really like this. So, again, thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. Hope that you guys learned something, and as always, hope that you guys enjoyed as well. Y'all can listen to the final result right now, but that's going to wrap it up. I'm out.